500 subscribers, thank you very much. Don't forget to message and keep in touch. Ooh. Hi everybody and welcome to Beetle Dave's Beatles channel. We've hit 500 subscribers today and I've got something very special for you guys. Come and join me. Hi and a warm welcome to Beetle Dave's Beatles channel today and thank you guys so much we've hit the magic number of 500. Not a lot to some people but it means a lot to me and from small acorns of course. Well anyway thanks to Michael Rice for suggesting maybe I should do something very special for the 500th so this kind of got the cogs turning. So what I've decided to do is set a little competition open to anyone who subscribed to the channel and the prize is this. A copy of McCartney 3 Imagined, which is a double green vinyl and is still sealed. This has come straight out of my collection. Luckily, I had a spare one there. So the questions are, which Beetle lived at 10 Admiral Grove, Liverpool? And the second part is, what was the name of his local pub that was just around the corner from 10 Admiral Grove? The competition is only open for seven days and I'll stick all the names in a hat and pull one out at random right here in the next two weeks or so. So my direct email is on the description to this video, so good luck and no cheating. So while this is a special video, I've decided to show something very special and talk about the Waterstones paintings book signing of when Dave met Paul. Come and join me. In early December 2000, I got a call from my brother and he asked me if I knew if Paul McCartney was supposed to be doing a book signing at Waterstones Piccadilly on the 13th of December. It was certainly the first I had heard about it, but luckily I was heading to London on the Sunday before to a Beatles record fair at the Bonington Hotel Russell Square, so I thought I'd go and check that out. So sure enough, when I went to Waterstones Piccadilly, there was a poster in the window proclaiming that indeed Paul McCartney was going to be there signing copies of his paintings book. So that was it in my mind, it was a chance to go and meet him and I was going to go for it. So I travelled back up to London with my friend and his wife on Tuesday the 12th of December, arriving at Waterstones around 9.30pm that evening. A queue of about 30 plus people had already arrived and it was a nice friendly atmosphere of Beatle people, so we just had about 15 hours to kill to the event. Surprisingly, the manager of Waterstones came out and discussed with everyone what would actually happen on the following day. So firstly, he took everyone's name and told us regardless, if your name wasn't on the list, you just wouldn't get in. And from previous experiences, he said people will try and jump the queue on the day. He also said that you'll be going in in groups of six and meet him one at a time. He then went on to mention that Paul would only be signing the book and nothing else if it was presented to him. So I was 39 in the order of people to go and meet Paul. And it was also said that the first 50 would meet him and get a book and the following 50 would only get a signed book. So that was a close call. So after many hours of chatting, singing, laughing, drinking brandy and just genuinely talking about the Beatles, the cold night turned into a very brisk morning. So the queue was really long now and it was around to the next corner. But then here and there, the odd person decided they wanted to push in front of those that had been there all night. They were politely told that they wouldn't get in, but sadly some were more stubborn and wouldn't talk or budge. But they didn't get in anyway. You could just feel the excitement brewing and the place was absolutely buzzing as it was getting close to 1pm now. Then the whole place seemed to erupt when this black car pulled over at the side of Waterstones, right where we were stood. The place just went crazy, people were hanging out of building windows, cars and buses were stopped, there was just people everywhere, it was just absolute bedlam. Incredibly I actually managed to get some snaps of Paul and Jeff Baker just going right past me and into Waterstones. This was just a mind-blowing moment and it certainly made me feel awake again. So for a short while after we were gradually ushered into Waterstones in our groups but it was still just chaos all going on around us. So it got to the point of where we were the next group to go in and then we were told to leave our belongings to one side and collect them after we met Paul. 
So it was my turn and I approached Paul, who I thought was slightly shorter than me. So I presented my paintings book to him to sign and he asked who it was to. So I said to Dave, please, Paul. He also asked me if it had been a long night, which I answered it had. And then we started talking about the Flaming Pie LP and he also asked me what my favourite song was and I said it was Heaven on a Sunday and it still is. He also asked if I thought his son James had done a great job on the lead guitar on the track, which I said he had, and also the fact that my son was also called James. So we just chatted for a few more moments and I felt like to him it made him feel normal just to actually be treated normal rather than the hysteria that he was normally greeted with. So I shook his hand and thanked him for the opportunity to meet him and on cloud nine, I just floated away to the right hand side to pay for my book. So in the tired dizziness of exhaustion that I was feeling, I nearly actually walked past the tills without paying, but no one just seemed to notice there was just so much bedlam going on around the store. So I retrieved my bag, paid for the book and started to get ready to leave. But it was at this point where I actually saw a stepladder behind all the press photographers who were continuously taking photos. So without a blink of an eye, as I knew I'd never get another chance, I reached into my bag, got my camera and climbed the steps where I had an absolute perfect view of Paul. So I clicked away for a few minutes and then decided it was time to go. I reconvened with my friend and his wife and then we exchanged our meeting stories with one another and then we made our way out of the store onto the tube and then got back to the coach station. Just an absolutely incredible meeting with one of my idols which almost seemed dreamlike but one I will surely never forget. So thank you all for joining me today and I really hope that you've enjoyed this special video. It certainly brought back the amazing excitement and the feelings from that day. So anyway, as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, why not give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. This is Beatle Dave signing off. See you next time. Beatle Dave's